Good Wednesday morning, folks. I'm News 18 meteorologist Cam Hopman with today's edition of your weather vlog. Plenty of rain over the last 24 hours. In fact, some parts of the region caught more than an inch already, and we're not even done with it yet. More scattered showers beginning to move in on the back end of this cold front. Temperatures here at the surface sitting at 37 degrees. And now, while we remain above freezing here, it's much cooler loft, so we are even seeing some wintry mix mixed in with the green on the radar. Some patches of that wintry mix and the pink on the radar. Um, Newton, Jasper, Benton County right now. And you may see an isolated flake or two mixed in with that rain. So we're looking at very cool conditions out there now. Very wet conditions with this past cold front now moving to the east. The good news is this rain will not be lasting throughout the remainder of the day today. In fact, we're looking at pretty much the tail end of this precipitation as of now. Temperatures today will be warming up to around the mid to upper 40s, maybe the low 50s across the viewing area. We're going to have to settle for those temperatures even though our average high for this time of the year is 66 degrees. Now we're going to be well below that average high today, hitting only 50 degrees here in Lafayette later this afternoon. So we have the chance of rain this morning, maybe into, even into the early afternoon. As we get towards the latter part of the afternoon, we begin to clear up. High pressure will begin to move in from the southwest. That's going to begin to erode some of these clouds, and that sun will begin to peek through, and that's what's going to help warm things up to that 50 degree mark later this afternoon. Now overnight tonight, clouds will pretty much clear up. We'll still see some partly cloudy to mainly clear conditions throughout the viewing area, but temperatures are only expected to cool down, uh, or I should say stay as warm as about 34 degrees overnight tonight, so still another cool night ahead of us, and really the next two nights are looking pretty cool. Tomorrow, we'll actually kick off a warming trend. Even though we're only warming up a couple degrees, we'll hit 54 degrees tomorrow afternoon with partly cloudy to mainly clear skies. Uh, that will kick off, kick off a warming trend that will last through the weekend and even into the beginning of next week. So partly cloudy tomorrow, really not that bad of a day. A little bit breezy at times. We can see winds up near 15 to 20 miles per hour beginning to shift to the southeast, southwest as we get into the end of your Thursday, beginning of your Friday. Temperatures will fall down to 32 degrees that night before we see the 60s make a return come Friday. Mostly sunny skies are expected that day. So that's going to be a very nice one. Now we do have another chance of precipitation in the forecast. That comes on Saturday. What we're looking at is a low pressure system that'll be climbing its way through the Ohio River Valley towards the northeastern United States. This could bring a chance of some very isolated rainfall. Mainly cloudy conditions can be expected for Saturday, but at least we'll hit 65 degrees that day. That'll be an improvement of three degrees over our Friday high temperature. Now once that moves off to the east, we'll begin to clear up once again. High pressure moves back into the viewing area. That will help clear things up and warm us up for your Sunday. 71 degrees will be your high temperature Sunday afternoon. Certainly a pretty nice day. And even Monday, I know folks aren't really the biggest fan of Mondays, but I tell you what, if every Monday could be like this upcoming one, I think we'd take it and really deal with them a lot nicer. 77 degrees, partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies come Monday. Things are looking very nice that day. Now we do have another chance of precipitation. That holds off, though, until Tuesday evening. What we're looking at as far as that goes is a cold front bringing scattered showers and even thunderstorms to the region Tuesday evening into Wednesday morning. Now before that, we will see temperatures warm up to that 80 degree mark, that elusive 80 degree mark that's eluded us so far this year. We're going to be hitting that 80 degree mark here in Lafayette next Tuesday before that cold front moves in. Things are actually looking pretty nice that day as well. Partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies during the afternoon. Ahead of that cold front, we'll see some increased cloud cover, but still, very nice southerly winds will warm those temperatures up to the upper 70s, low 80s across the viewing area. Come next Tuesday before the cold front moves in, and it appears that temperatures may drop as low as the low 60s or upper 50s by midweek of next week. That's pretty much all I wanted to hit on today, folks. If you have any questions about this forecast, feel free to email Chad, Amber, and I at weatherteam18 at WLFI.com. My personal email address, Cameron.Hotman at WLFI.com. And you can always follow us on Twitter as well at weatherteam18. Until tomorrow, folks, I'm News 18 meteorologist Cam Hotman signing off.